Now go to number six. I'm going to skip ahead. Now go to number six. Okay. Paul Frank, where are you? Okay, you're Paul. See, you, you just got to learn the alphabet. I got to learn all your names and faces and stuff. So it would be Shin. All right, good. The first letter's a Shin. Now what do we got? What the heck is this? All right. Here's a vowel mark we haven't seen yet. Okay. This is called a schwa. Okay. And it's the mark for a schwa. And a schwa is going to function the same as a schwa does. What's an English schwa do? Uh, it's kind of an inarticulate vowel sound generally translated as uh. Okay. And we'll mark it with a schwa sign. All right? Hebrew does have a schwa sound. All right? And it functions as a schwa does in English as sort of an inarticulate uh, vowel sound. So the first syllable of this word is simply sh. Sh. It's not a long vowel. It's not a short vowel. It's a schwa. Now, what's the second uh, consonant? Who's doing this, uh, Paul? Yeah. Mame. Mame, good. And then, uh, yep, pathak. pathak. And one of them there. Ions. Ions, good. So say the whole word. Yeah, Shema. 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 Very good. Any questions? Do you hear the schwa sound is really just kind of a schwa sound? Shema. All right. Never accented. It'll always be sort of sloughed over, which is really the point of schwa's is it's a syllable that you're kind of uh, passing by. Question? Is that like an upside down E? Yeah. Sh yeah. Schwa? Isn't that a schwa marker? Well, you know. I, what do I use in the book? I think we used a, yeah, we used a thing like that, which most translate, for some reason, uh, a lot of textbooks transliterate the schwa with simply an E with a little short vowel over it, which is even more confusing. All right. It's just annoying. All right. All right, if we did six, I want to backtrack now and do five. Probably should do these in a different order. All right, what's the first letter in five? Who wants this one? Ryan Carlson, where are you? Right here. Okay, Ryan. Uh, All right, good, Keith. Uh, That'd be an H with a dot under it. Now, what's this animal? 